Right. So, welcome to Define Learning. My name is Meredith Wilkes. Y'all, I feel like I'm talking to him at a department meeting, minus Mr. Lococo. Um, so, you, I don't know if you know this, but I'm the Career Development Coordinator, Special Populations Coordinator um, at Green Central and the Middle School. And um, I'm going to be talking to you today about the Define Learning and Define Careers. Um, software applications um, and I'm going to demonstrate how to incorporate career focused lessons into um, your curriculum. So our objective for today is participants will observe ways to utilize the defined learning and defined career software and um, your job is to discover how to incorporate career focused lessons into your curriculum and to think about which um, application will work best for your students. All right, so for Define Learning, um, who is it? Define Learning is an online application that provides teachers with the tools they need to implement and assess real world project based lessons that connect classroom content with career pathways. Um, so Define Learning's performance tasks allow students to use and grow their critical thinking skills, their communication skills, their collaboration skills, and their creativity. Um, tasks are geared towards making students uh, globally aware. This is the performance task framework uh, model. Um, so it's going to begin with a video, like a real world video. Um, from some type of job or career or industry. Um, and it's going to set the stage for the lesson by apply, applying educational concepts within a company or an industry. Uh, then teachers are going to present their big goal or their big idea or their goal for the project using the GRASP model. And this is what the GRASP model looks like. Um, it's going to have, you know, what is the goal or main idea, um, the role in a specific occupation that reflects the goal in real life, uh, the audience, which is who they'll be working for, a situation they must solve, uh, the chosen product students will create that solves the problem and shows they understand. Um, some product examples would be a brochure or a commercial or a 3D model. Um, and then, of course, um, the standards are going to be reflected in the grading of the using a rubric. Uh, now I'm going to show you a little video that kind of introduces you to define learning. Classrooms look different, and the future demands our students be equipped for whatever comes their way. Educators play a huge role in helping prepare students for their futures. More than ever before, educators must find ways to focus on individual students in a holistic approach to education, helping students to explore interests and strengths while fostering critical 21st century skills. But how? Define Learning offers project-based learning that engages students and supports educators. Students learn through hands-on, rigorous projects that build the skills that support them throughout their lives. Educators benefit from an online framework that's seamless to implement and backed by our team. Education is changing. Give students the tools and traits to make an incredible impact in the world. Another way Define Learning... Okay, we're going to talk about that later. So, um, I'm going to actually just go on in to define learning and let you look at it. Um, just as a um, FYI, since I am with the CT department, Career and Technical Education Department, um, define learning is geared more towards um, your core subject areas. Um, but the part of define learning that you know I would I'm going to be using is define careers, and we're going to talk about that in a few minutes. Um, but you can incorporate, you know, basically any subject area um, into Define Learning. 
So I'm signing in with Google, and I'm telling you this just so that you don't get confused when you go to sign in. Um, you are actually going to be logging in through Clever, but I think also on your Canvas page, you can log in through Canvas. It should be show up on the left-hand side. Um, and you should already have access to define learning, one of those two ways, through Canvas or Clever. <clears throat> And this use, Define Learning used to be called Define STEM, so you may have heard of it before. Um, I know some of you are STEM teachers, so you may, this may look familiar um, to you. And um, like I was telling you, Define Learning, this is just the um, dashboard when you log in, um, is geared towards, more towards the math, science, social studies, and language arts, um, where it incorporates you know, the careers from, you know, various industries um, and occupations. Uh, so I'm just going to show you right here. You can um, basically search for a project, you know, based off of your subject area. Um, and you can use the filters depending on the grade and the subject area. Um, if you've never used Define Learning before, you can look at the videos, the Getting Started videos. They're really helpful. Um, I've watched several of them while learning about um, Define Learning. <clears throat> then I'm going to show you the My Projects tab, which is up at the top. Um, <laughs> Under My Projects, you can create a new project. Um, you can ask, ac access district projects by clicking on the tab here. Um, and these are some district projects uh, different teachers and Mr. Garcia, I think, have posted up here. Um, and they've shared them with the whole district to, you know, use or see. Um, then you can go to My Projects. And I just created um, a demo one so that y'all would be able to see a project, a project, and we're going to open it up and look at it in a few minutes, um, and kind of, you know, how it works. And I just chose Crop Doctor. Um, and for this particular one, it's for grade 10 for high school biology. Um, and then also there's a tab for assigned projects and I actually assigned this to a um, student and I'll have to remember and take it away from his assignment because, you know, he might see it if he were to log in and use this for a different class. Um, and then of course you can sign group projects as well, which I did not do. Um, blah, blah, blah. And if you scroll down, you'll be able to see the um, recent project submissions if you know you had any. And I did this one, I think, today just so that y'all could see it. Um, and I think he's an eighth grader. And um, Then if you had any check-ins, like the essential questions that are asked, um, or the check-in questions, the students have answered any of those while they're going through the project, those would appear okay. under recent check-in submissions. And under my classes, this is where I imported students. So I will show you the one I created. I'm going to be using this for when under defined careers um, for interest inventory when I come over and talk to the eighth graders about their four-year plans or their comprehensive student plans. So I added all of the eighth graders um, that we currently have. But here's where you could actually create your own class. I think my demo class is where I added. Uh, oh, he was a ninth grader. And um, assigned him a project. So you can also, if the student um, has completed any task, it would be in their student portfolio. Um, and you can view all of that. You are able to import classes using Google. And then if you look at the grade book, you can see when your um, students have submitted a task. And you can actually use the rubric that you actually choose.
to grade and you can return it back to the student to resubmit or you can go ahead and score it and accept it. So that's kind of what that grade book looks like. Is there a to choose from And everything can be um, edited. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's what I was saying about it can really, you know, be changed for any course. Mm -hmm. Okay, so talk about that. I want to show you just a generic, um, what I'm doing right now is I just went to search and I'm going to type in a, um, da -da -da -da, a project that we're going to just kind of look through. And of course you could use the filters if you wanted to change the grade. And this is for, you know, pre-K through 12th grade. So this project is called the Backpack Designer. Um, this is what your view would look like in a project. They also have the Spanish version. So um, It's going to give you the introduction that the students will see, what their job is, um, and then, you know, the driving question. And I'm just going to click through this. There's the video. Everything has a video to introduce the students. Um, because students would, you know, much rather watch a two-minute video versus reading five paragraphs, right? Yeah. Um, we, were actually, we were actually going to use this one yes. in seventh grade, right before lockdown. Uh huh. Uh, Miss Garris, when she we were both teaching in seventh grade. Mm hmm. When I went to train this, um, the fine learning, they actually went through this one with me, so I just thought it was interesting. Because I've never thought about there's an actual job for a back, backpack designer, um, and how you know you can incorporate that into your curriculum. Um, but this is just the student checking questions. So you know it's going to show us when they watch the video and they answer the guiding questions. This one says, "What does the backpack designer do?" They're getting all of this from the video, um, and how will a pack, backpack design differ between various audiences? And then they'll just keep moving through. Um, this is where it's showing you about grass, the big idea, the essential questions that we talked about, and it explains all that. Um, let's see. Uh, this is where they're, you know, the demonstration and there's different support for the teachers, like the anchors and it's I'll click on it and show it to you. But this is just an example. And it's explaining it um, using the grass model. There's so many resources attached to every project that are accessible for uh, the teachers and the students. And like I said, it's completely edible. So there's that. Let's see. So right here is the rubric that they use for this one and just scored it, uh, the teacher you know, scored it. All right. uh, and then of course it aligns with all of the, um, you know, North Carolina standard courses. And then there's the research questions. Um, who's your target audience for the backpack? What materials we use to make your backpack? And what is it you most want people to know and see about your backpack design? And then um, everything that students do in Define Learning is stored in their portfolio. Um, so you can, you know, watch as the student grows. Um, <laughs> And this is just another product, like the pattern, it's got the rubric for it, then another product, the model rubric again, and the standards that go along with it. Um, another flowchart product. And then this is another check-in so that you can see that the students are actually following the steps. Um, and these are just different learning objects. 
Uh, I know I'm going fast, but I don't want to run out of time so we don't talk about defined careers. And then there's another video just showing you what uh, standards it aligns with. Gonna... Yeah. Yes, it's kind of like taking that STEM approach. The, mm -hmm. the mini one, not the grand challenge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like a performance task. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then again, there's the um, essential questions. And, you know, they finish it up. Okay, so we click through that. Anybody have a question about any of that? I know I went through it fast. How long is it supposed to take to do one of these projects? That's a very good question, Ms. Wilson. We mapped out the one for us. We had 45 minutes a year, so it was going to take us about a month. Ooh. But we were only given two days a week. Okay, I was to say. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. it was cross curricular, so we were trying uh -huh. to match classes. So two days a week for a song. For you guys, I imagine probably, you could do it in two days. Mm -hmm. Three days, probably. Mm -hmm. Not in 90 minute period. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. but, like my main challenge is about like two days, three days. Mm -hmm. My main challenge is now take mm -hmm. about a week. But we only have 60 minutes. Yeah, right. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, again, Define Learning just kind of makes it digital and stores everything in that portfolio so that they can always go back to it or, you know, the teacher can always go back to it. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to talk to you about is, um, you know, the Define Careers part of the um, Define Learning. This is what uh, I will be using um, and I think a lot of CT teachers and other teachers as well um, can benefit because you know um, careers are a major part of our curriculum uh, and our CTSOs. So um, let's see. Define careers is comprehensive career exploration solution, offers personalized career assessment in combination with relevant hands-on projects across all career pathways, and it helps level the playing field by providing all students with equity and access to career exploration. Okay, so everybody is put on an even playing field because um, uh, it's not always in every student's plan to attend college or you know attend a four-year college versus a two-year college. Um, and Define Careers is going to break that down for them and let them know what level of um, education they need, what degree they need, um, or what certification they may need if they go to a trade school. So here's a brief clip about Define Careers. Define Learning is helping students prepare for their future careers through Defined Careers. Defined Careers is a multi-dimensional career assessment that's specific to individual students. It focuses on three key factors, students' interests, values, and study preferences. Defined Careers levels the playing field for all students. It broadens the exposure to career interests and pathways designed to support futures. Early exposure to careers means informed decisions on which classes students take through graduation and beyond. This ownership and empowerment leads to motivated, better students. Define careers. We help students recognize their futures. No. So um, I was going to tell y'all about this. Um, not everybody is going to have access to defined um, careers. Um, this is the first year that we have actually used Define Careers. Define Learning has been available to all five schools, um, you know, for sorry. Um, so I was like, where's that coming from? <laughs> um, Define Learning has been available. Um, Define Careers is new this year, and we only bought license or permissions for a certain amount of teachers. Um, so, if you want to use it, 
we can, we do have a certain amount of um, people we can authorize to use it, and actually Julie is the one that um, can give permission. Uh, she and Dr. Creech can give permissions to use it. Um, so we'd love for you to, but we just have no so that we can get you granted access. So if you were trying to log in, that's why you cannot log, log in. Yes. Um, oh, well, good. I'm going to let you volunteer in just a second. Oh, yay. <laughs> All right. Um, so just looking at defined careers, uh, it assesses each student's values, interests, and skills through a um, career assessment, which is what I am going to be using for with eighth graders when I start working on their four-year plan. Um, and I like to find careers because, like I said, it stores their assessment, um, and I can view it at any time. They can view it at any time. They can retake it at any time as they get older and they're, um, you know, they change because we all change, right? I said I was never going to be a teacher, and here I am. So, uh, the results of the assessment produce a personalized list of recommended career pathways projects, um, and students will explore and experience careers in their recommended pathways by completing hands-on projects. So, uh, what's included? Uh, college and career readiness, we hear that a lot now. I know, at least in uh, CT world, we do. Uh, we're going to be um, identifying and connecting students to natural interests, create an environment for collaboration, provide authentic assessment, observe and nurture their strengths, encourage critical thinking, foster growth mindset with performance-based learning. Um, Define Careers has over 300, I think it was 320, career-focused projects across 79 career pathways. Um, and as students complete their performance tasks, their products are saved in their portfolio, which I've already told you, so we can track their growth um, as they explore careers. So we're going to look at Define Careers now. Um, all right, so when you log in and you are able to log in through Clever, um, and hopefully eventually you'll be able to log in through Canvas as well, because I know at the high school, we, do y'all use Clever much? Okay, well, they, it is available to you through I am, I believe, and it's on the four staff page on the Green Central website. Um, and he said he was going to add the little DL logo up there so everybody would know. All right, so on to find careers. This is what it looks like when you log in your dashboard. Um, your classes are going to be listed here, um, any reports that you have latest activity uh, and then if you click down the courses so you can search for any you know career course somebody tell me one and we'll look it up I don't know that I don't want to spell that blue bottom. so but then you're going to click go to course and these are the lessons that you could assign to your class or classes, or if you didn't want to assign it to the whole class, you could assign it to just certain students. Well, that would be really helpful to not y'all, but in tier 9 of 7, you don't like them. That's probably all they have there. Um, let's look. Um, there it is. And then you can actually view. Um, and this was, was not up here a couple of days ago uh, when I met with Mr. Lofton. They actually changed it because we couldn't see what the lessons were about unless we looked through the student. Um, so you can click on show and always starts with a video um, and then follows up with the guided question. Um, so, you know, it's just a, about architecture and construction and then you answer the follow-up questions, and then you'll go on to the next one, which is the career pathway for this one. And you can look at it if you want to. Um, but that's kind of so how... it has questions underneath it that the students will have to answer? Mm -hmm. And, and they have to complete all. With it and it gives them a um, green check mark, which I'll show y'all too, um, once they complete it. And then it says, you know, it's still dark for the ones that they have not um, completed yet. So they would have to complete all five of those lessons 
to complete the course interior design. Can we link that into Canvas? Possibly. I asked Mr. Lawson about it. I mean, because that would be easy for y'all. We should be able. I mean, well, mm -hmm. at least we could. And that's a fine learning. Is, I mean, we should be able to put the link on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, yeah, because you've used it before, haven't you? Uh, the fine learning, not the fine. Yes. Mm -hmm. You were. If you go into Clever, you have an all access. Now? Yes, I mean. Define I'm, learning or define careers? Define careers. Okay. Where is Clever? Go to the. Um, we use Clever every day for our regular stuff. So. Green. Um, See, some people. I don't know. Um, oh. Where's that at? Go to the four staff page on the Green Central website, and it's up there under that one of those apps. And it has the, it actually has my kids in there and everything. Mm hmm. Your connection kind of is not private. Yeah, that's why we want y'all to log in through Clever because it go ahead and puts your um, classes in there. I just don't have any classes, so it was hard for me to model that. Um, you can assign, to, oh, well, we got how much time? Now? Ten minutes. Nine, oh. nine minutes. Okay, I'm hurrying. Okay. I said I couldn't talk for. Um, oh no, you have nine. Nineteen minutes. Oh. Okay. okay. Yeah. Well, y'all know where to find me if you have questions about it. All right. So I'm going back to my dashboard. I created a demo class and put a student in there just so you could see what it looks like. Um, and what I'm going to do, once you click on your class, it tells you if I had, you know, 20 students in here, they'd all be listed right here. I'm clicking on View Profile, and these are all the um, assignments that this student has, um, or courses that they're enrolled in, and how much progress they have made on those um, courses. And if you actually, let's see, scroll down, you can see where this student, um, completed two of the little lessons, but has not completed the other ones. Okay. Um, and you can send messages back and forth. And you can also view their assessment results. So this is what I'll be using a lot, their interest assessment um, results. Once they take the assessment, it actually goes ahead and will um, show them their recommended pathways. Uh, of course, you know, they don't have to use those recommended pathways. If they are determined that they're going to be a surgeon and those are their recommended pathways, we definitely want to get them in some health science classes, right? Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> And then the final report, this is, um, this one shows, you know, where they can actually find the different courses and watch the videos. And I'm going to actually impersonate the student. And I'm going to get y'all to take the assessment so you know what it looks like. And Haley, you can come up and you can be my volunteer. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if I get a new career girl. Yes, because I've done it this time since so everything's like business, teacher, human resources, I don't know that I came from, but so, I got to stand in use of the swivel look at you. Well, like the one that you can use. Most of for you is swipe. It's cool. Mm -hmm. It's gonna um yeah. Do your most desired and least desired. <laughs> oh, the least would be math, and so we'll go to the right on that one. Sorry for your math teacher, but it's not for me. Um. <laughs> Which one do you think is most hard for you to swipe? I thought yeah. Good. Next question. Oh. Yeah, learning. Okay. So what do you think is the most desirable? Least has got to be language arts. This is what the kids actually take to this find their um, high school <laughs> answer here. So. <laughs> um, so is this something that maybe you recommend for that class that I got to teach next semester that I know a child before? <laughs> 
the crew management, yeah, so it's definitely. The mm -hmm. or, you know, they just yeah. changed it. Mm -hmm. to work. And it makes it, 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 it makes it, I'm just saying, like, it is so easy. Using these can actually replace some of the things in that curriculum, oh, okay. and they're yeah. already done. So, like, you wouldn't even have to, I mean, you have to look at it and make sure they did it, but. This will be a good thing to do in the beginning of the semester. Mm -hmm. And I do this with eighth graders. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can, we, can I do this for whole <laughs> So not next semester, but um, all of the freshmen next year will have completed with me when I come over here and do their, um, and it will be saved on Define Careers where y'all can all see it once we get all of y'all access. But it looks like we got access. Are you in Define Careers? Uh huh. Okay, Mr. Well, Walton. I, well, I knew you could get in because you were STEM. Oh. Well, never mind. I'm all STEM. But I didn't do anything because I, the tutorial's here and I don't know. You can get in Define Learning, but not Define Careers. Learn or Parent Install Locks. Because that's. Yeah, you just click through and put your preferences in. So I get some different careers. You see the Yeah, you get Define Learning, but not Define Careers. Yeah, you just click through and put your preferences in. So I get different careers. Yeah, you get Define Learning, but. Yeah. Um, we, it's because, I didn't think so, I think you, he's got it because he was already using it and, or, I'm not sure, but I know that we only have certain permissions, number of permissions. Yeah, it was underneath the thing, the, okay, uh, More apps? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I know that the CT department is going to have it next year, permission yeah. to get in. Yeah. Define learning gives you both options. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got both options. Yeah. You're, you're, you're a STEM teacher, so I think STEM teachers can do already getting in. So y'all see how she's going through just answering the questions. You know, what your students are going to do um, to find, you know, what career pathways are recommended for them. Yeah, the student that's sitting over there could have done it. Yeah, I should have done it. You do it next. Okay. It'll probably be. It'll probably tell her she's gonna be a surgeon. It'll tell me I need to stay there right where I'm at. Over there, look at her, lay back in the chair, eating. Hey, no. I shut up. Big old nerd here. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Do you not think so? That she was checking them nerves. Did you think that was not? Well, I mean, you can do anything you put your mind to. Oh my gosh. <laughs> teachers tell us when they're like you can't do that but like they can't tell us that we're can't do that so they're just like you can put you can do anything you put your mind yeah I'm like are we gonna win this Saturday I'm like you can do anything <laughs> <laughs> that's going on I'm on YouTube JK it's going on YouTube JK oh <laughs> Much more evenly matched match than we originally thought. We thought we were playing a one seed, and there's a two seed. Oh, okay. Who are y'all playing? The school of science and math, but Ooh, they only have oh, juniors and seniors, yeah. so First that's why they're not athletes there. Yeah, uh, well, they're only juniors uh, and seniors, so they like there's no freshmen and sophomores. That's what Carson was talking about. I'm gonna eat these I You're fine. I want you to take your time. I don't like the chips. They're good with mayonnaise on them. Oh, mayonnaise on them. Yeah. Mayonnaise and ketchup together. Wait, some pizza like you do the fries there. Who's doing that? Really? I ate fries from there yesterday. I dipped my own colonies in sauce. I could not believe how I ate all that, but the way you I got a plate. <laughs> well, Carly come in. She said, "Did it have buffalo dip on it?" Cause it was gone. It was sweet, sweet, sweet. No, she. And she said, "And Reagan Green made those chocolate chip cookies." I said, "Reagan or Riley?" She said, "Reagan." Reagan. I said, "Reagan, I went to school here." She said, "Reagan made them." I said, "Oh my gosh, and they were good." They had salt on them. It was salted chocolate. Chip. I need that recipe for those pumpkin chocolate chip cookies that you were trying out. I'll give it to you. I redid it too, and I made it a little bit sweeter, and they're better.